video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my nighttime, spring, and summer skincare routine. This is my perfected version because at nighttime, I'm just ready to get in bed. I've had a long day. I'm not really wanting to spend 10 minutes on a routine. So this is like my perfected nighttime routine. So if you'd like to see all the products that I use at night in the spring and summer, please keep watching. Okay, I first want to say that the air quality has been kind of bad here in Atlanta. So uh today i'm able to breathe well but yesterday was horrible so if i sound out of breath or very winded that is why um but i wanted to get these videos out to you guys because i feel great um it's just my breathing is a little labored so anyway like many of you i have busy days long days and at the end of a long day the last thing i want to do is take 10 minutes to dedicate to a skincare routine so i pretty much do my whole routine in about five minutes or less and that is perfect because i'm ready to get in bed and wind down i don't want to spend lots of time putting on different serums so uh, just to give you a brief overview of my skin I do have very oily skin especially in the summertime it is acneic it's not so much sensitive but I do tend to break out my ear looks a little red so these products are going to be great if you tend to get clogged pores acne any type of breakouts because they're all going to be um, pretty gentle and sensitive per that issue so i'm going to start with cleansing that is the routine that i start i forgot one step and that would be to remove my makeup if i am wearing makeup for the day and i will insert the makeup wipes here that i use they're the ula henriksen nurture me wipes i believe i love the scent they're very light i don't like any makeup wipes like the neutrogena ones that tend to leave your skin with a film even though i dual cleanse by using a makeup wipe and a cleanser i just don't like the way that feels I get the big boy the 100 pack and that lasts me for a few months so I use those at the end of every day when I am wearing makeup for my eye makeup this is my current eye makeup remover it's the Quate Beauty the Walmart brand oil free eye makeup remover now it's not my favorite when I got it I did like it but I am noticing as I'm starting to wear more makeup lashes and things of that nature when I'm going out out uh, this is not really getting the job done so I think I will be going back to the Clinique one when I finish this but I did love it because it's about four dollars at Walmart and you really can't beat that so after I'm done removing makeup lashes and all things like that I move into cleansing and the first thing I do is put on my little spa headband this is from Bath and Body Works you can get one of these anywhere Amazon Walmart Target but I like using a spa headband to place around the perimeter of my head just so that I don't get my hair messed up I love having sleek hair and you definitely don't want to get any water or any skincare in your hair so I always wear one of those now just being honest with you guys day to day I'm not going to use Use this but when I need a really deep cleanse I will use my Clarisonic this is the Clarisonic Mia 2 I uh, have the lavender one I don't use this every day if I'm feeling like my skin is very clogged very greasy if I'm coming back from a vacation uh, where I tend to not do my extensive skincare routine just because when you're on vacation it's all about relaxing and such so if I get home from a vacation if I haven't exfoliated in a while if I have worn makeup heavy makeup like this for a few days in a row I will use my Clarisonic but I don't use it day to day just because your girl's trying to get in bed but this is the cleanser that I have been using recently that I am obsessed with. It's the Estee Lauder Perfectly Clean Multi-Action Foam Cleanser and Purifying Mask. I love this. It's deep cleansing, so it leaves my pores feeling very squeaky clean, which is important because it's hot and humid where I live. Uh, and I also have oily skin and tend to wear makeup every so often. So this cleanser and this Clarisonic really work wonders for me when I need that really deep cleanse. So after I cleanse my face, I move on to my serum. And this is the only serum that I use at night. It is once again by Estee Lauder. I'm really loving Estee Lauder right now. It's the Advanced Night Repair Serum, which is my holy grail. I first started using this when I was in my early 20s. And I love it. It keeps my skin nice and smooth. It helps to get rid of any texture. It is just my holy grail anti-aging preventative right now uh, because I'm not 
I'm not seeing a lot of signs of aging, so I don't need to use a serum and a cream and all that extra stuff. But for right now, this is perfect and I use it every night and it will continue to be my staple. You are never too young for anti-aging. I will be doing a video all about my staple anti-aging in my 30s because I think that's important for those of us who are younger to focus on anti-aging products because even babies are aging. We're all aging. <laughs> okay, so after I put on my serum, the next thing I apply is my retinol. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol, Fu retinol Fusion PM. This is my favorite retinol. Oh my goodness, I'm almost out of it. <laughs> I love this retinol. I will leave my all about skincare video all about retinol down below. Retinol is a holy grail skincare product for me because I have discoloration, I have pigmentation issues, I have textured skin. Retinol basically speeds up your skin's cell renewal cycle. So when you're in your 30s, your cycle is about 28 to 35 days, I believe. Uh, and as you age, your skin turns its cells over more slowly as you age everything slows down so that is why retinol is so important to me and I use this every night it's very thin so it doesn't feel thick it absorbs right in so I don't have a long time waiting between applying this and the product that I apply after it and that product is once again by Estee Lauder it's the revitalizing supreme plus global anti-aging cell power cream this is like a deluxe sample size I do need to repurchase this product because I just ran out but this is the best nighttime cream that I found for my skin like I said as I'm starting to age a little more uh, I really wanted to kick up my night cream and this just makes my skin so smooth and hydrated it's not marketed as a nighttime cream but because I do have oily skin and because I'm not that mature in terms of age uh, I don't have to use something that's like $150 so I found that this works really well for me and when I don't use it I can always tell in the morning my fit my skin feels dehydrated so if you do have oily skin if you're looking for a nighttime uh, cream this will work really well for you if you guys watched my am skincare routine which i will link down below uh you'll notice that at nighttime i tend to add a lot of moisture and in the morning i tend to strip my skin because i wear makeup and i don't want to have really overly hydrated like dripping skin i don't want my skin to be dripping with moisture i want it to be matte because i'm going to get oily as the day progresses so after I apply that, I will move on to my lip balm, which is usually my last step. This is my Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. Holy Grail item, you guys know I talk about it in every video. It's so amazing. It has an SPF of 25 in it, which I think is really awesome because a lot of us forget to put sunscreen on overall, but even more of us forget to put sunscreen on our lips. And your lips need sun protection as well. So I use this, I have it everywhere, my bag, my my desk everywhere love love this lip balm the next three products i'm going to share with you guys are things that i don't use necessarily every night but i use them as needed and first is going to be an acne cream or an acne treatment spot treatment like i said i do have acneic skin so every so often i will get a little blemish this stuff is holy grail uh, a couple weeks ago i actually had a blemish I had two no i had three that would not go away and every night i would put this on and my friend would always say what is that on your face and I'm like, leave me alone. You know I'm breaking out. He didn't get it. <laughs> but this is the Target Up and Up 10% Benzoyl Peroxide Gel. This is comparative to the Clean and Clear Persa 10 Gel. I love this. Holy grail status for me. I tend to like a benzoyl peroxide for my blemishes more than a salicylic acid. Uh, also, this has some bleaching properties, which I think is really good because whether or not I break a blemish or not, pop it, it doesn't matter. I will always scar. So this is something that I just can't get enough of and it costs about $3.50 at Target. Uh, and the last two products are actually masks. Uh, because I love a moisture mask once again this is something that I'm not going to use every night but if I'm getting back from a vacation which I tend to do a lot of in the spring and summer this is what I need and I have been on a few trips already and I don't know what it is but every time I travel no matter if I go to Florida or internationally my skin 
doesn't get taken care of like it does when I'm back home. So the first thing I'll always do is exfoliate really well, start using sunscreen even more to help protect my skin and do a, um, and do an overnight moisture mask. This is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Overnight Hydrating Mask. I love this because it's very lightweight but super, super hydrating. It's not comedogenic. It's not going to clog your pores. It's not going to irritate you. It doesn't even have a scent to it. That's why I love Kiehl's products. They are very, very gentle, but it's super, super effective. And when you wake up, your skin will be glowing. Another product that I use similarly to that is the Bosha Subaki Deep Hydration Sleeping Mask. I don't know if they're selling this anymore. I know they went through a couple of products in terms of a hydrating overnight mask, but I love this. This one feels a little more oil driven than the Kiehl's because Subaki is usually an oil from Bosha. The only real difference between these products are that one is in a tube and feels a little more oily and one is in a jar. So if I am going to be traveling, going on a relaxing vacation where I do want to treat myself, I'll probably bring this one. But for me, they do the same things. So those are all the products I have to share with you guys as far as my spring and summer and nighttime skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments or questions down below in the comments section and I will see you guys next time. Bye!